Well, a new name and a new era for West Australian women's basketball with the West Coast Waves now owned by the Perth Wildcats. The Perth Wildcats have purchased the West Coast Waves licence and wound back the clock to rename them the Perth Lynx. Bendat and Wildcats management hope to replicate the success the men's team has had. We'll hope to revive the franchise with one a championship in 1992. They forecast a host of big changes, including making the majority of players full-time professionals. Pulling the squad together was a bit of a challenge, but one of the great things about the resources of the Perth Wildcats organisation and now obviously the Perth Lynx, we were able to run two camps, a camp here in Perth and a camp there in Melbourne, and then fit them together. I thought the first session that we had together was the best first session I've ever been involved in in any basketball. It was an outstanding session, and it's built from there. It's been very good. With regard to where our talent level is, do we have the talent level to be able to win a championship? I believe we do. Sam brings us great maturity, a really good basketball IQ, but she's just a scoring threat all the time. She is an outstanding offensive weapon. Nat Burton is probably the quickest big in the WNBL. Great rebounder, uh, defender. Luella Tomlinson is one of the best shot blockers I've ever seen. She has a real knack of waiting for the offense to commit before she goes and blocks the shot. Carly's great three-point shot, excellent pull through on a drive. To be as athletic as she is, to be as long as she is, very, very exciting. Izzy Chilcott is a work ethic personified. She comes every single drill. She wants to go as hard as she can, she wants to do the little extra, and you just need that style of player Tessa Levy, an absolute rocket on the court. She has the potential of having an outstanding WNBL season. Tony Edmondson is an excellent defender. He can defend a number of different positions, but also she has the ability to score. Clara Wisher has skills in multiple positions. She can handle the ball up and down the floor, but then go and post somebody up or then go and shoot a three from the perimeter. Stacey Barr is a surprising offensive weapon. Her ability to knock down the three, uh, sometimes to get to the hoop. For Nigel Wall, well, we went, oh no, this girl's a great fit for our program. It was really that work ethic, going and getting offensive rebounds, fighting for the ball. We saw that and we think, no, this girl will complement our group. She has been terrific all night. She's impacted Rutgers' defense, and she's been a fantastic mid-range scorer tonight. It's obviously going to be a completely different look than fans have ever seen before. Just to have that level of professionalism, now that doesn't disrespect what's gone on before. It's just exciting to have the 20-plus front office staff thinking about how they're going to make the game day better how we're going to make the on-court better. I think it just looks after every little 1% of it you could think of. I don't think anybody starts a season wanting it to be a development year. We're going to push for a championship, and that's what we're constructing this for. We're certainly going to pursue a championship.